this video on C Sharp Basics, we'll be taking a look at the incremental and decremental mathematical operators. The incremental operator increases a value by one, and it's just simply two plus operators together. Now, if the incremental operator is used before the operand, it returns the value after the increase. So if int a equals five, then plus plus a returns six. Now, if the incremental operator is used after the operand, it actually returns the value before the increase. So if int a equals five, a plus plus returns five. Now this can sound very confusing, but understand that both a plus plus and plus plus a would both return six on the line after the increase. This will make a lot more sense once we see a demonstration of the incremental operand. The decrement operator decreases the value by one, and it's simply two subtraction operators together. Much like the incremental operator, if the decrement operator is used before the operand, it returns the value after the decrease. So if int a equals five, then minus minus a returns four. If the decrement operator is used after the operand, then it returns the value before the decrease. So if int a equals five, a minus minus also returns five. But once again, both a minus minus and minus minus a return four on the line after the decrease. Now the decrement and increment operators are used very frequently in C-sharp coding. But I have seen where the use of the increment or decrement operator on the incorrect side of the operand has caused coding problems in applications. You need to understand this little caveat of which side of the operand you need to put the increment or decrement operator. Let's first take a look at the incremental operator. Now we've created a variable of a and assigned a value of 10 to the variable. Then we have two console.write lines. The first one is going to add a value of one to the variable a. Now notice that the incremental operator is preceding the variable a. Let's see what we get as a result for both of these two write lines. So for both of the console.write lines, we get the value of 11, both the incremental operator that happens preceding the a gives us a value of 11, as well as the value of a after the increment gives us a value of 11. Now let's see what happens if we put the incremental operator after the variable a. So here we have a value of 10 for the first write line and a value of 11 for the second write line. Even though a has been incremented by one, we don't actually return that value until the following line. This is different from when we use the incremental operator before the a variable. Lastly, if we increase the variable a by one, then write the value to our right line console, then increase the value of a again, but this time put the incrementer before the a and write that value back out to the console. What do you suppose is going to happen? So we started off with an initial value of 10, then a plus plus increased the value to a. We wrote out the value of a after the increment. So that gives us a value of 11. And we incremented a one more time and wrote the value out to the console, which gives us a value of 12. Hopefully this makes clear that regardless of which side of the a variable you put the incremental operator, the line after the increment will still evaluate to a plus one to the value. Now let's take a look at the decremental operator. Here we're once again creating an integer of a and setting its initial value to 10. But we're gonna go ahead and do a console right line of minus minus a, followed by another right line of just a. So we started out with a value of 10 for our variable a. Then we did a console.write line and decreased the value of a by one. Since the decremental operator precedes the variable a, it goes ahead and evaluates the decrement first before returning a value. Then on the second console.write line, we once again return the value of a, which is still nine. Now let's see what happens if we put the decremental operator after the variable a. So we started out with a value of 10 for the variable a. Then we told in this console.write line to decrease the value of a, but we put the decremental operator after the variable a, which means the right line actually still gives us a value of 10. 
then after the statement is completed, the variable a has been decreased by 1, and so on the second right line, we get the actual value of 9. Finally, we'll take a look at what the variable a looks like on the line after the decrement operator, regardless of which side of the a variable that we put the decrement operator. Here, both console.write lines show the decreased value of a by 1. So we started out with a value of 10 for the variable a. We decreased it by 1 here, then wrote that out to the console.write line. And a decrease of 1 for the variable a gives us a value of 9. Then we once again decrease the variable a by 1 and write that out to the console, and we see the value of 8. Understanding which side of the variable that your decrement or increment operator is is a crucial thing to understand when you're coding in C-sharp. Otherwise, you can get some erroneous results.